Now, 2022 has been an absolute crazy year for me. It's been a pretty crazy year for Diablo. Right at the end of 2021, we had Diablo 2 Resurrected launch. Since then, we've had a couple of seasons go out. We've had new rune words. We've actually had new types of areas. I'm talking about the Terror Zones. We've had new items, the Sunder Charms. We've got Diablo 4 coming out the next year. And this is the first year I've done Diablo 2 content creation full time i'm absolutely blessed to be able to do it and since i'm doing it full time i've actually had an opportunity to play and stream the game a ton and you know what happened when you play the game a ton you find a ton of absolutely sick items so that's what i'm coming at you with today i'm bringing you all the best drops from diablo 2 resurrected that i've had in 2022 and I decided to reach back to the launch of Diablo 2 Resurrected because there's some other sick drops in there and it was just the last little bit of 2021. So let's take a look at how nasty these drops were in 2022. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video. You don't want to miss none of this because actually the last probably quarter of this video are drops that have never been seen before. They were just recently and just in the last week or two, I found some crazy, crazy amazing stuff. G Stacks, what's going on? Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, my gosh. G Stacks, hopping in at the right time. What? Finding. My face is all red from me just rubbing it. That's the first Zod I have ever found in my entire life. Hold you. I look like an old man lifeguard. Yeah. If I was a lifeguard, I ha I'd have a way better tan. Oh, it was hiding on me in there. Who called that earlier? Who called that? That, uh, wow. Sweet Phil almost didn't see that. Wow, 101% chance I'd find a high rune today. I told you, 101%. Spiderweb Sash. Oh, Sweet Phil got it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet Phil with the snag. I needed one of those. Yo, that's nasty. I'm pretty happy about that. Really needed that one. So we'll throw that on, switch some gear around, and that's gonna help out for sure. Biggest drop of these sets of runs here at run 95. It is absolutely huge to find this if this is the beginning of your ladder. Whoa, that is a unique spider web sash. It's the big dog, the best belt for those casters. And that is of course the Arachnids Mesh. Oh baby, that's an exciting way to cap off these sets of runs. No, nope, Manald, Manald, Manald. Here we go. Come on, come on. 28. 28's is not a, a bad per Ooh, there we go. You got at least one stone at Jordan there. So this is 40 unique rings here from Nightmare and Daryl. I did not ask him how many runs this took, or if he told me, I forgot. Very possible, because I'm so feel I tend to forget things. But there is one stone of Jordan, and we did get 130 uh, Magic Find Nagel. There is a 28 there too, I suppose, but it's few here. Hopefully, come on, one more SOJ. Let's do it to it. Come on, come on. Oh, there's number two, baby. So we got at least two Stone of Jordans in just 40 of these. Wow. When I did this, I did not get that lucky. But uh, congratulations, Cat Discord member, for getting a minimum of two Stone of Jordans. We got one more left. Oh, let's go. On the left, that's two Stone of Jordans in a row. Wow! Oh my gosh! That is legendary. That was hilarious and awesome. Wow! Three Stone of Jordans in 40 unique rings from Nightmare and Daryl. That is bananas! Run 36 probably brings me the absolute best drop in this entire set of runs right here. This is a unique Templar's coat and I notice, oh my goodness, it is ethereal. And actually, this is a very awesome item for your mercenary because the durability does not go away when they get hit. This is an ethereal guardian angel. Look at all that 15 to all maximum resistances. That's amazing. 
and because it's ethereal, it has a huge amount of defense. Yeah, single player is super sick, super sick. Oh, there's one. Finally, let's go. Wait, no, I'm gonna move it up here. It's, you know it's gonna be the SOJ, right? I finally got one. SOJ. Oh! Let's go, baby! Woo! Oh my gosh, that. <laughs> oh! Final run luck, baby! Let's go! Final run of the day! That's a, you guys didn't leave yet. I said, hopefully you're not one of the people. When I said it was the final run, you instantly took off. Boom, nailing a wind force, single player wind force, baby. <laughs> nice, nice. Now this one right here is probably the most exciting and the drop I'm most happy about here in all of these runs. And that is this massive low rune i really want to make a grief it really sets off every single melee build in the entire game so it is so mega nasty that i just pulled a low rune from the chaos sanctuary let's take another quick look at this beautiful puppy right here so far so good get him out of the fire just in case i don't even know if that's if he's going to be a fire's going to be a problem for him but I don't feel like risking it, to be perfectly honest. Bill goes shirtless when he reaches your goal. I thought about, I got a stone cold. Oh, let's get after it, son. That's another reason why I was running Chaos Sanctuary. I was hoping to get one of these. I'm afraid to pick it up. It's going to be ethereal. Ah, oh, not ethereal. 116, I don't even care. A-OK, -okay, let's go. Woo, baby. On the charity stream with a big dog drop, son. Yeah. Right. Oh, there we go. Wow. Let's go. But anyway. Boom, baby! That's exactly what I was hoping for. Another Sir Rune. So now I don't have to nuke all those Vexes and those Ohms. Because anyone who's going to watch this in the future clip anyways, I have a Burr, a Sir Rune, and I was going to cube together all this stuff. Vex, 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 Ohm, 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 to get all the way up. But now I got a Sir Rune. Send this over to here. Cube those together to get that Burr Rune. All right. Burr, mal, burr, ist. We're gonna. Because it's so expensive. Okay. Burr, mal, burr, ist. Infinity. Infinity. Let's go, baby. We got one. I didn't. Oh, what? Wow. I grabbed that so quick. I don't know if you guys even seen that. Did you guys just see that? What is going on here, bro? Holy moly! What? Hold on, let me give you guys. Let me do the. Let me. Let's redo that reaction. Hold on. What? Oh, 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 what? Oh, oh my gosh! I'm so. That's so cool. Oh, oh my gosh! But there's another burr room, baby. I am so glad now that I did not cube those rooms up to get infinity. No ad Saturday. I am gonna hang on to that one. That's a pretty cool amulet. Three to cold skills, 29 magic fine. That's pretty cool. Rocking a blizzard sorceress, get some more magic fine. Woo! I like that one. Slam an emote in the chat if you like that one. And charm. That's gonna be a skiller right there. I guarantee it. 
I'll ID it right now, because it's going to be a skiller. I told you it was going to be a skiller. I knew it. I hadn't found a skiller in a long time. 37 life skiller. Defensive auras. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we were just talking about this earlier. People asked if I ever found one of these. I was almost, I was picking it up and being like, is it going to be ethereal? Is it going to be ethereal? There's a rare one, fellas. Ooh, Let's go. I find these so uncommonly, I never see them. I don't even know how they can roll. Like, what's going to be, like, the high roll or the low roll? 287? 59 damage? I think that's a good roll. I'm going to have to look it up. But I think that's a good roll. I'm making a video about this, too, but some people... People will farm in Nightmare and, or recommend farming Nightmare. I generally would never farm anywhere else except for, wow, that was unexpected, except for Hell Difficulty. That kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> that caught me off guard for a second. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Good old Death. Phasm. Fathom. That's Phasm. I got one t-shirt that I, you know, bought. I just wanted to go get more t-shirts for work, really. Just before I left that job. And, oh! A rare one. Let's go ahead and... Actually, now that I think about it, I'm really pissed off about this drop. <laughs> I'm really pissed off about this drop now. At first, I was excited because it's rare, but now I'm I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh, well, it happens. Another Mavenus Diadem. I think this is the second one I found here on, on single player, so. Unique Griffins. Unique Diadem. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. One hour later. We get a little more magic find, get a little more, get another point in the Frost Nova. Oh. What? Come on, bro. Isn't that how it goes? This is the second one I found in like three days. The second Mavenus True Sight. Come on, game. <laughs> Oof. 12 seconds later. Oh, Zachary coming in with a 199. Super chat, like a boss house. Love your chill content, no cringe, keep it up, people. Appreciate it, Zachary, it'll come through in a second. My apologies, oh no! <laughs> it's not the big deal, babe. Oh my gosh, this is the third, this is the third one I've found in the last three times that I've streamed. This is crazy. What are the odds of that? So this is a quick clip that I did post before, but just in case no one's seen that one, I did find a unique swirling crystal here from Duriel when we were doing some terrorized Talrasha tomb runs. This is of course the Oculus. Uh, go ahead and identify this. And I ended up deciding to give it away to a longtime channel member somebody who's uh, really supported me in streaming and creating videos here. So congratulations, Blizz Biggie. Uh, and hopefully this has been doing some good work for you. Just real quick, I'm gonna knock out another repeat that most people might have seen, but I actually pulled an SOJ on like the second day of ladder. So that was mega awesome as well. Now here's another one, just in case you missed it. Out here running terrorized Eldritch. Boom, you need Grand Charm, you know what it is. It's gonna be one of those Sunder ones and it actually ends up being an absolutely perfect roll, cold Sunday. So that's like a let's go type of situation right there. Now this one's pretty wild. We get some terrorized cows. Let's go ahead and do it, fellas. I'll just hop through the portal. The first cow dies almost. Let me go ahead and open this up. Boop. Oh, a low rune just dropped right next to me. Oh my goodness. Just as soon as I pop through the portal, the very first terrorized cow run that we do, and I get a low rune. Nice. Do it. Do it. I don't know if off that monster it could, but... Unique amulet? It's gotta be Amaro's, right? Could it literally be anything else? Oh! 
garbage roll on the resistance, but that's my first Mara's on single player too. Off of some random monster. Don't want to make it everybody too mad, but that's my opinion on it. Foster walk run. Oh, let's go do it. Oh, I'm not 22. So we got another Mara's, but that's the exact same amount that I got on the other one I have. Another 22 Mara's, so... Happy to find a Mara's, but wish it was higher. 12 seconds later. Yeah, he'll go on anyone's podcast now. Literally anybody will take him. Good old yay yay. Oh, another, another Mara's already. Let's go. So much little stuff over here. Grand Charm too. Man, look at all this stuff. Let's ID the Mara's next, right? Boom! Oh! <laughs> what? Two Maras, like, in three runs? Was that in three runs I got two Maras? What? <clears throat> That's wild. And it's a higher res, too. Let's go, baby! That's pretty crazy. No no high runes yet from Trav, but that's a nasty, that's crazy. That's a crazy one right there, fellas. Fellas, fellas. <laughs> Haired people. <laughs> that just sounds funny. Uh, I did see, I finally, there's my unidentified metal grid here. Let's item find it and then pick up my metal grid and identify it for you guys. It's going to be a beautiful thing to see. And a psych out on the low rune as well. Metal Grid! Oh! Let's go, baby! Oh, no! <laughs> I called it. Sha Boom! Let's go! I do not call a Metal Grid every time, either. I've only done that, like, twice. Grand Charm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. A 20 at li a 20 to life pally combat. Oh, let's go. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. I looked at this and I seen ethereal and I almost lost my sh or excuse me, lost my stuff. <laughs> I thought it was ethereal at first because I just seen ethereal on these stupid boots I didn't mean to pick up. I've been looking for one of these, baby, and this is going to help out a ton. None of how it rolls even matters. We got it. We got it. And also, emo spam is... Oh, I'm talking about emo spam. And I get a cham, baby. What? 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 Boy, the pits players want difficulty for a pogger cham. Dude, get them emotes in the chat, fellas. Oh my gosh. That caught me off guard. That caught me off guard. <laughs> Templars on Project Diablo 2, but that doesn't really count because the, the drop odds on Project Diablo 2 are like jacked up real high. Oh, what? Speaking of rare items, right? Speaking of rare items, right? Let's go. Man, very convenient down here in the pits, huh? Death Fathom 3, 2027, 20, Lightning and Fire Res. What? There's a rare item. Speaking of rare items, I found something noteworthy. Unfortunately, the, I am a real normal person, so I don't find a good item every single time either. Just like all you out there, it happens. But here I get a jewel that I think dropped off a Neolithic and whoa, baby, wowzers. This is the second time I've ever found a Ruby Jewel of Fervor. So it has 33% enhanced damage with 15 increased attack speed. Not the best in the world, but they're still incredibly rare. Oh, another 30 Ruby Jewel of Fervor. Incredibly rare, but this is the second 3315 that I have found. I found two 33s and I found a 34 in my life. A Ruby Jewel of Fervor. I don't know if you guys know how rare this is. Some of you, some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. Incredibly rare, especially a single player find. What's going on, Leandro? Oh, that's a pretty rare one. 
Myrmidon, Greaves, some Shadow Dancers. Ooh, I think those can roll with two to skills, right? Oh, wow. Off of the rack. Ethereal. Ethereal. Did y'all see that? An ethereal bone flame off of the weapons rack. Or off the armor rack, excuse me. That's wild. Maxed out stats, but oh, okay, units in gotcha. Diablo 4 seem to be uh, very, very different. More yeah. like Diablo 2. Yes, yeah, yeah, I didn't mean to uh, say that they were going to be exactly like yeah, the, yeah. what what'd you call them, ancestral ones in uh, D3? Primal, primal. Primals, primals. Oh, nice. I just found a 5 NATO. Let's go, baby. Mm. <laughs> Off a thresh wow. rocket. Okay. That's huge. Nothing actually. else on it, but a 5... five. I almost chucked it out real quick. 5 NATO, 15 to life, so nothing else on it. But nice. Yeah, I'd say I... I uh, that was another one that a few months back... Uh, maybe it was... Oh! Oh! What did you hit? Uh, I just got a unique sacred armor. <laughs> what? <laughs> First time I've ever found a unique sacred armor. I will oh, say man. this is Thresh Shocket, though, so it has to be Templars. Has to but be that's Templars, still yes. huge. <laughs> that's the first one yep. I ever found on D2, except for I did find a Templars on Project Dev2, like I said. Nice. Wow, this is good, turning that's into a huge. great farming session. You, I'm going to have to talk True. to you every day, bro. Every that's day. That's what people tell me. We got a 5 that's NATO, tell me. and now we got a Templars in an hour and a half. <laughs> so, there was a few other little things that I wasn't going to shout out, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> wow let's go That's baby sick, man still cast channel grand charm boom oh 38 the life summoning druid not the best skill but that's the highest life skiller i've found in my entire life wish it was a different i wish it was like lightning skills or something so there's all the best, craziest drops I had in Diablo 2 Resurrected in 2022. Some of them are super crazy because they're the first time I found this stuff on single player. And remember, single player a lot of times is way harder than getting stuff online because you got to find it all yourself. You can't just find some lower runes and then trade it for the good stuff you need. Here's to a great 2023 with the Diablo 4 launch and hopefully even more great things for Diablo 2 Resurrected. So peace out, fellas, and check out this video right up over here. YouTube algorithm knows you're going to like it. Peace out. Keep slaying.